In this video, we'll talk about learning new tech stacks. My name is Jessica Sharples, I'm a tech co-founder, and I'm here to help you learn more about designing your own learning plan for any tech stack. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for new tech interview prep videos every single week. An age-old problem for software developers at the start of their careers, and sometimes even years in, is deciding which tech stacks they should learn. If you don't already know, a tech stack is a combination of tools, frameworks, and coding languages that help you build complete apps and experiences. These resources are usually bucketed into front-end tools or things that are seen by the end user, and back-end technologies that power servers and databases. Front-end technologies are things like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, while back-end tools could be a MySQL database to hold customer information and an Apache server to handle requests from the client. So should you go with something newer like MERN, which uses a NoSQL database, MongoDB, React, Node, and Express? Or should you go with something tried and tested like LAMP with Linux and a MySQL database? With the abundance of documentation, YouTube videos, and professional resources at your disposal, you may feel overwhelmed about where to start. <laughs> Too many developers find themselves stuck in tutorial hell with no apparent way out when trying to learn new tech stacks. However, equipped with an effective learning plan, you can quickly and thoroughly learn any tech stack you want. Today, I'm going to show you how to do just that. Before you dive deep, it's always best to gain exposure to the basics. We recommend looking at the official introductory tutorials that most tech stacks provide on their websites. Almost all major tech stacks have official documentation for you to check out. If the stack itself doesn't provide a beginner's tutorial, you can always find one online at GitHub or another developer forum. Next, skim through the documentation. Don't worry about understanding everything. For now, just focus on getting a general view of the technologies and how they work together. Research the supporting components. Once you've gotten some exposure to the ecosystems around your stack of choice, you can dive deeper into its supporting components. At this stage, you'll want to start making a list of the supporting components you'd like to learn more about and can potentially use to build a complete project later. For example, if you are trying to learn React, you could choose libraries like Next.js, Gromit for responsive web projects, Refine for data-intensive applications, or Redux for state management, among many others. Depending on which tech stack you choose, there could be dozens of options to pick from. Keep in mind that for now, you're just making a list of the different components you're interested in. Taking a deep dive into each of them at this stage can easily overwhelm you. So, just start with things that sound cool and interesting. Use your tech stack to build a complete project. Now, this is where things start to get interesting. The next step in your learning plan should be building a complete project. After all, the best way to learn is to learn by doing. Diving into a complete project will give you hands-on knowledge of how the pieces of the tech stack fit and work together, along with how the supporting components work and how to use them. This could be building a web shop or a social media interface to write and retrieve posts. Generally speaking, you should be able to find a tutorial using your tech stack that involves building a complete project somewhere online. Finding a potential project that uses all the supporting components you listed earlier is the most comprehensive way to learn, although you shouldn't worry too much about it if you can't find one that includes everything you checked out earlier. Build something from scratch using your tech stack. Building a complete project is crucial for thoroughly learning any tech stack. However, that doesn't mean you should just complete tutorial after tutorial. Instead, challenge yourself and build something from scratch. At the end of the day, tutorials can only teach you so much. It's creating something from the ground up, all by yourself, that will teach you the most about your tech stack. If you're feeling stumped for ideas for things to build, try to think of potential solutions to minor problems you already have. For example, if you were learning React and had a friend or family needing a website, you could offer to build them one optimized for mobile. So long as your project is unique to you and allows you to strike out on your own rather than following a step-by-step -step tutorial, 
you'll start to gain a solid understanding of your tech stack by building things from scratch. Write about what you did and what you learned. The final step in your learning plan is to write about what you built and learned along the way. You may be tempted to skip this step, but make no mistake, writing is critical to solidifying what you learned. It's best to keep this writing educational. Try to teach a potential reader what you learned while building your application from scratch. After all, the best way to learn something is to teach it to someone else. Publish what you learn on a personal blog or keep it for your own personal reference. But writing things down will help cement the knowledge you've gained. Repeat these five steps for every piece of the tech stack you wish to learn. Earlier in your learning plan, you'll have made a list of so many supporting components and libraries that learning them all may seem overwhelming or paralyzing. But work through this process for each one in a silo. In the end, you'll have a substantial portfolio you can show off to demonstrate your knowledge and experience with the stack. I hope this helped paint a picture of how to start designing your own learning plans for your tech stack of choice. For even more software engineering interview prep content, Exponent has the best resources to help you ace your interview, including in-depth interview courses, private coaching, and a community of experts ready to help you prep for even the most challenging questions. Hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week and go to tryexponent.com to become a member today. Thanks for watching.